today I will show you how to use the free news simulator that came in, started coming in CCW in version 12. Now, I also already have an article completely on this that I published back in uh, June of 2019. You can see it right here. And uh, it goes through all of the steps. But I did want to do an updated video that would be more current. So let me go ahead and switch over to my VMware. And here you can see I'm running CCW 13. I believe it jumped from 13 to 20 and then to 21. Um, I didn't see a lot of big differences in those 20 and 21. So I just spun up the VM I use all the time and that happened to have 13 on it. Um, so again, this feature came out in 12, but uh, I'm using 13. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new project here. And I'm going to call this, we're going to call this automation tech tip. I believe this is number 04. And um, if this was going to be something complicated, I'd make it available to download. But you're going to see here, it's so simple that there's no reason to. So I'm going to come in here on the controllers. And here's the thing, right? Unlike the RS emulate that we showed you earlier, whether it's 5 or 500, where you didn't have to make the program match the emulator, this is more like control logics where it has to, which is kind of sad because if you look at what Siemens does and what Alan Bradley did in the past, you didn't have to make, you didn't have to choose a specific simulated controller to use it in the simulator. So um, in any case, we, we're going to use what we have here. And so we're going to choose the Micro 850 Sim. So if you have, and I say this in the article, if you got a program for an 830, you would have to convert it to an 850 Sim. And of course, you'd want to save it first with a new name before you did that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the 850 SIM. I'm going to select that as my product and I'm going to add it to the project. And uh, we'll just give it a moment to open up and then we'll see our simulated PLC. Now at this point, if I want to add in any modules, any uh, plugin modules for it to simulate, I would do that now. And this, I'm just going to keep this shot to keep it quick. But in any case, the first thing I need to do here is, um, you can see I'm in the logics view. You know, I'm going to put my glasses on because it's the text is a little bit small there. And um, you can see this is what would look with the default view. And they added this logics view to give you more of a, uh, a you know, Studio 5000 RS logics look. So in any case, I want to show you something cool here. So if we go to the default view, I'm going to do it the way I teach it in my course. That's the standard way. I'm just going to add a new ladder diagram program. It comes in as program run. I'm going to leave that. And um, I like to create my variables before I create my code, but you can do it either way if you want. I call this PB1. You know, let's just create one variable there. And so then I'm going to go back to my program. And you can see here I have a, uh, what they call a direct contact. They also say examine if closed if you're, so that's something new, right? If you're used to using RS Logics, you will know examine if closed, XIC. So I'll put that there. And then it's going to say variable selector. And I, I could create my uh, a new variable here, but I'll just choose PB1 for now. Okay. And then I'm going to choose a, a coil, which is also, they call it a direct coil output energizer, or OTE. So I'll put it in here. And now I'm going to create a new one. I'm just going to call it PL1 for pilot light one. And that's what I'll select. And these are the local variables. Okay. So down here, there are, you could think of them as program scoped variables. Okay. So, here I go. I got my very simple program. Let's see if I can. I thought there was a way to zoom in. Yes. Control scroll wheel. Okay. Now if I go up here, that's how it will look if it was a micro 800 program in the default view. But if you go to the logic theme, you'll see. Oh, we'll go back over there. Now we see task, main task, program, program one, local variable. So this side doesn't look too much different. Okay. But you can see here things look a little bit different, especially the coil or output. All right. So with that done, how do we simulate it? Well, let me go ahead and build it first to make sure there's no errors. So we'll give it a second. This is like verify all or verify project in our logics. You can see here one succeeded, zero failed. So that's good. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to simulator. And this is where um, the simulator will come up and I'll power the simulator on. This is kind of almost like RS logic simulate. And this is where I get the notice because I'm using the free version the standard version of CCW, it's only going to run for 10 minutes. So you're going to keep that in mind. If you're going to simulate things, this is usually good enough. For like if you're taking my course and you just need to press, practice some logic so you can turn it off and turn it back on and restart it and then um, get another 10 minutes. But, um, you know, if you're going to be simulating something, you know, at work for your business, then you'll probably want to purchase the developer edition to get around that. So with that done, now what I can do is I can download, okay? 
And we've already showed you how to set up RS Links. I have RS Links Classic set up, and I already have the Ethernet IP driver set up. I have all the PLCs in the office shut off um, because the heat's on full blast. We don't want to trip the breaker. That's one of the things we got to change this uh, this spring is, is uh, get a bigger feeder here. But in any case, I'm going to choose the only thing that shows up, is that's my simulated PLC. So with that, I'm going to click on OK. And we'll just give it a minute. And uh, it's going to say, hey, do you want to overwrite the program that's already in there? Oh, yes, I do want to download over it. I was doing a test program earlier this morning. And then it'll finally come back and say, hey, you want to go into the run mode? And of course, I'm going to say, yes, I want to go uh, back into the run mode and run the project. And it gives me the warning, the 10 minute warning again. And in mere moments, we should be able to uh, see this. Now, I'm online, right? I'm going to try to toggle uh, this bit. Control T, just like in Studio 5000, right? And this comes on, okay? If I tile the input off, it goes off. And so um, that's great. Now with the inputs, unlike the emulator, with the inputs, it won't let you just toggle them on because it's simulating scanning the I.O. So the I.O. for the inputs are getting updated, I don't know, every 10 milliseconds or whatever. So um, if you toggle it on, it'll go right back off. If you toggle an input bit on, it goes right back off. So that's what you need to start looking into. Can I do forcing and whatnot? But with that, that is the tech tip for today. I hope that helps. Again, if you're using the CCW and you want to simulate your code, or if you're taking my course in Nano Basics, this is a great way to do it free of charge. So with that, I just want to thank you all again for tuning into the show, taking time out of your busy day to spend a little time with me. And I want to wish you a very happy, safe, and healthy day. And until next time, my friends, peace.